How to farm harvest with wandering path. To preface this video, this isn't the most optimal way to farm for maximum currency per hour, but it is the way that I personally enjoy farming harvest the most. For those of you who are more experienced or know of a better way to improve this strategy, let me know in the comments section below. So as you guys have probably figured out by this point, my favorite farming strategies usually revolve around the use of the Wandering Path Keystone. The reason for this is purely because it gives a significantly improved quality of life for low investment strategies. The advantages for running this Keystone include but are not limited to easy map sustain, higher chances of encountering your favorite mechanics without the need of scarabs or sextants, and doubling the effects of item quantity nodes. One of my favorite mechanics to farm with this particular Keystone is Harvest. The reason for this this is because you can achieve up to a 60% chance to encounter harvest per map, not including the Stream of Consciousness Keystone. And the Harvest Plus that you do find very often contains Heat 3 seeds in it that yield lots of life force. Even with the recent addition of Crop Rotation, I still enjoy farming Harvest with Wandering Path and Stream of Consciousness more, just simply because it gives more consistent returns for all three types of life force. One of the biggest caveats with Crop Rotation was that each Harvest encounter was very hit or miss in terms of whether you would drop thousands of life force in an encounter or only a few hundred. And even during the occasions that you did hit the jackpot, you could only focus on farming one color at a time. The other downside is that in order to fully maximize this strategy, you would need to drop Wandering Path so that you can grab the notables that really make crop rotation worthwhile. But I'm not usually one to enjoy focus farming one mechanic at a time. I usually enjoy stacking multiple mechanics together that could synergize and potentially yield much better returns. If you're someone who prefers the crop rotation strategy without Wandering Path, all the more power to you. But in this video, I wanted to talk about how I like to combine Harvest with Wandering Path and Stream of Consciousness in order to put together a zero investment farming strategy that I would personally enjoy. So currently, in order to set up the basic quality of life stuff for my Atlas, I make sure to have at least 75% chance for monsters in each map to drop an additional connected map. This is basically the bread and butter of most Wandering Path strategies, as this allows you to over-sustain your favorite maps. My current setup also features a 60% increase effect of map modifiers, 17% chance to duplicate maps, and 30% increase item quantity. Now for the Harvest passives, I basically grab every small Harvest node on the tree, which grants me the 60% chance to encounter Harvest, 60% increased chance to have T3 plants and Harvest crops, 36% increased quantity of life force, and 12% chance for harvest monsters to be duplicated. Now earlier I mentioned that I don't usually like to focus all of my energy and resources into just one singular mechanic, but rather I like to stack mechanics on top of each other that ideally synergize in a way that yields more value. Currently my favorite thing to farm on top of harvest is delirium, just simply because delirium orbs drop so often with the wandering path keystone allocated. Since harvest monsters spawn quite a lot of monsters within the delirium fog, it is quite advantageous to be farming these two mechanics together. Not only that, but delirium increases quicker the further you are away from the mirror. And since harvest is treated as a completely separate zone from the map that is extremely far away from the mirror that you opened, this can make even the shorter maps like beach also very profitable. Profitable. As you can see, the two best times to be farming Delirium Mirrors with Harvest is when it's raining outside and when it's not. So that's all for this video. If you want to support my content, be sure to check out my second channel where I'll address any thoughts, questions, or suggestions that you guys left for me in the comments section below. Thanks for watching the video, and I hope to see you all next time.